Logan Airport has gone through a decade of security enhancements since September 11, 2001, costing hundreds of millions of dollars. But one retired FAA special agent is wondering why it took a tragedy to get us to this point and whether it'll take another one to finally fix lingering security concerns. When I saw the two planes hit the World Trade Center, I was devastated because of what we had done. What did we have to do, hit them over the head with a two by four? Retired FAA Special Agent Brian Sullivan has thought about 9-11 every day for the last decade. It haunts him. When you make an attempt to prevent something and nobody listens, and it happens to the catastrophic degree it did on 9-11, uh, it rips your guts out. Uh, not only for the future of aviation security, but in a sense, out of my commitment to the folks who, who died that day. Sullivan worked with Fox Undercover back in 2001, five months before 9-11, helping test security at Logan Airport. Our hidden cameras caught screeners repeatedly failing to notice a metal knife in a money belt, even though it kept setting off alarms. Time after time, screeners also missed an electronic medical device carried by someone in a wheelchair. This suitcase also stumped security at Logan. It was packed with lead bags that are used to carry film, and the luggage was then secured with a plastic tie. The x-ray machine won't reveal what's inside the lead bags, so screeners are supposed to check. But the plastic tie confused this screener, who searched the outside pockets instead. Even his superior didn't know how to open the luggage, and finally waved us through without ever opening or examining the suitcase. After our report, Sullivan wrote a letter warning Senator Kerry about the security lapses. He passed on the concerns to the Department of Transportation. Uh, Days after 9-11, we caught up with Sullivan, who read us that letter he had written only a few months earlier. We don't have to wait for a tragedy to occur to act. That's chilling. Yeah, it, it, it's chilling, but you know, you have to ask yourself, what good does it do you to be right when so many people died? Ten years later, Sullivan is pulling no punches. If Massport and the airlines had reacted to the report Fox did, it would have been observed by the terrorists and might have served as a deterrent at Logan at the very least. Since 9-11, those private security screeners who failed our test so miserably have been replaced by government screeners from the TSA, the Transportation Security Administration. In 2004, the 9-11 Commission issued a report detailing flaws and making recommendations for preventing terrorist attacks. The report even acknowledged Fox 25 uncovered security problems at Logan before 9-11. Do you believe a 9-11 style attack could happen today? I think it could. I don't think it's as likely as a bomb in the cargo hold, a shoulder-fired missile. Now, 10 years later, are we any safer? I, I think there are some things that we have done that make us safer. The key is passenger awareness. If you think of the uh, shoe bomber, and the underwear bomber, who stopped them? It was passengers and crew. It wasn't the TSA and the billions that we spent on security equipment. Security at Logan has come a long way in a decade. All checked bags are now screened for explosives. Full body scanners started being used last year. And Logan recently expanded its use of questioning passengers to identify suspicious behavior. Never again will we allow this to happen. Just last month, Massport and the FBI announced the opening of a Joint Terrorism Task Force office at Logan, which is staffed daily by law enforcement agencies working to prevent another terrorist attack. Thanks to the people here in this room today, Logan is now recognized as a national leader in aviation security. But Sullivan says he wonders if the new office is more about public relations than public safety, even though the FBI insists that's not the case. It took you 10 years to come up with this concept, 10 years to develop this at Logan, the place where two planes were taken from. Who are you kidding? Sullivan isn't the only critic of airline security post 9-11. The Department of Homeland Security Office of the Inspector General issued a report in July saying the TSA needs to do a better job overseeing who's getting access to secure areas of airports, writing, the safety of airport workers, passengers, and aircraft is at risk due to the potential of inappropriate individuals obtaining airport badges. A new report issued by the former chairman of the 9-11 Commission cites nine major unfinished 9-11 Commission recommendations, among them transportation security. The report says we are not satisfied with improvements to TSA's explosive screening capability. The next generation of whole body scanning machines are not effective at detecting explosives 
hidden within the body. The terrorists right now are looking at body cavity bombs. We don't have anything that'll stop body cavity bombs. Why are we always reacting rather than being proactive? The TSA tells us it is proactive when it comes to airport security and gave us this statement saying, TSA currently employs the world's best available technology to screen passengers and bags for explosives and continually works to deploy security measures together with the newest technology to stay ahead of evolving threats. I'm Mike Baudet for Fox Undercover.